Epic Games are sending a ton of players a free gift after messing up so badly recently during Winterfest. However, to claim this, they've told me you need to drop a like on this video in three, two, one, a hey, congratulations, here's your free gift. Now, but for real, in this video, we're going to be revealing some things that you guys potentially could be owed when the next update rolls around, which looks like it's going to be January 10th, 2023. Before we hop into that, look how insanely close we are to 2.515 million subscribers. It would make my start to 2023 so amazing if you do hit the button and turn on all notifications. After all, the only benefit to you is we do give different subscribers every day. So once you've subscribed, comment your Epic Games ID down below and what you'd like from the item shop, and boom, you could be featured in the next video. Me and my dog, Charlie the Charcoal Pug, want to thank you for supporting code FM1 inside the Fortnite item shop. Literally one of the shortest and easiest codes to enter, so enter it if you haven't already. But with that said, there's been a new hotfix today and so many things you need to know about before the next update, so make sure of course you don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I'm not, I'm sitting on my don't go anywhere. So before we dive into the free gift that Epic Games are all players, potentially more than one, look at the news tab what was updated today with the hotfix. As you can see, it's the Guardian Shield. Deploy a protective barrier and defend against chaos with the Guardian Shield. Throw it on the ground for instant cover or take the Guardian Shield on the go, which looks like this in trailer form for those that haven't seen it. Definitely looks even cooler when you're using it as it does change colour I've seen from people firing bullets at it and such or it taking damage from when, you know, players are trying to deal damage to the player behind it. And considering we've been using a lot of Geno lately, I figured it's time to switch back to our boy Peely. If you haven't already noticed, Winterfest is over as the lobby has changed now to outside of what I believe is, is it the Citadel or is it somewhere else? I honestly don't know at this point. Either way, the presents have been vaulted and as you can see at the top, there is no lodge because of that in between play and battle pass. So this bit about opening the fridge or Fortnite baiting that this change in would entail in a 15th present wasn't true. You'll find out later in the video what our 15th present or gift of Fortnite is going to look like, but for now if we go over to the mid-season drops, this being a brand new segment they've introduced in Chapter 4 Season 1, you will notice that Sunlit Selene, the first one, is available of five that are upcoming, and as you can see it states at the top right how many days we're going to have to wait, we're getting one per week. Considering this one is to earn 10 account levels, I'm guessing this one is 20, 30, 40, and then 50. As states in the bottom left, we have until March 10th, 2023 to do this, and obviously it will further incentivize if you've bought levels like myself, as you can see I'm level 136. People who already bought all levels and then got all of the superstars, as you can see, firstly starting out with these kind of grey looking ones, then going on to the galaxy options, which people think are actually better than the final ones we're about to reveal. Fun fact about Jeno, Echo stated too, we did not get the cape with him that we saw on the Fortnite servers. Tut Tut Epic Games. But yeah, for those that haven't looked on here, this is the final stage, and Gold Geno looks lit, to be honest, I can't lie. And just before we hop into a game and discuss the present that Epic Games owe you all gift, onto your Fortnite account, speaking of what's been granted also if you subscribe to the Fortnite crew, or have been consecutively for the past few months, as you can see now, the Photonic Striker is Jewel Wheel. We're going to be using this for today, I think I'll equip it. The next style, as you can see, it states right here is available on the 1st of Feb, and I'm guessing the next one after that is available the 1st of March. Maybe all of the colours the month after. I hope I don't have to get a colour per month of being subscribed. Okay, so let me get this right as we take off now. The, they did a hot fix, but they didn't take out the Christmas tree lights on the trees and bushes, but then they took it off the battle bus. And despite them vaulting the cosy lodge with the presents in, they've literally kept it in-game right here in the snow biome, as you can see. Maybe they'll just keep it there, considering the map didn't get entirely covered in snow, and obviously that's a snowy biome. Potentially going to be melted, I don't know. What we do know is the Herald has escaped from looking at this reality tree shrunk down right here with a gap in the back, meaning she's hopped out once morphing into the reality tree and shrinking it in itself in this reality. Thank you for the landing XP. Well, we haven't got the new item yet, but we do have fireflies, which actually contribute toward another item that's meant to be upcoming, which honestly, I don't know why they didn't add with the guardian shield. Oh wait, there's people here. Everybody's just running away. There's even more fireflies. I think the game just wants me to tell you about the upcoming firefly launcher or flamethrower weapon, as you can see on screen, early gameplay of right now. Again, not sure why they didn't release this with the guardian shield, considering it literally looks finished right now in the game's code in our files and obviously that's why they've been able to put it onto private servers or in private games early. I'm guessing it's going to be in 23.20 which is either upcoming on January 10th as data miners have previously stated but reliable data miner and leak of fire monkey came out with some unfortunate news potentially about it not coming until January 17th. I really do hope we don't have to wait that long until the second update of chapter 4. I love the sunset scenery on this new island look at that but yeah for those that don't already know chapter 4 season 1 was scheduled or has been determined to 
our four downtime updates within it since, oh. like, Chapter 3, Season 3. This was around the time of it being leaked that the codename for this island was Asteria, obviously meaning the Chapter 4 map, as the first three are called Athena, Apollo, and Artemis, being Chapter 1, 2, and 3, so obviously this fits the Greek mythology codenames, as Asteria was the mother of, I believe, Apollo and Artemis. Fun little fact in case everybody forgot, but yeah. Speaking of forgetting things, hopefully Epic Games don't forget, considering there's been so many issues this season, from XP bugs to then things that they've had to remove, such as the Shockwave Hammer, from Glitch King finding this glitch where we can literally unlimited use it. Fingers crossed they don't forget about obviously giving us or compensating us not just one free reward for everything that's happened during Winterfest, but honestly at this point I feel like they do owe us more than just one thing. Last year for the 15th present or like last thing or free gift off Epic Games that we got was the Crescent Shroom Pickaxe. I know we could get an extra present being this dumbbell emote, obviously we can't claim it now but people don't have it on their account already as it gets granted I think like in a day or so, January 6th maybe, which by the way is my birthday and if you made it up until this point in the video, comment happy birthday, FM1. Not a happy day for Deadpool though, if I can get off the bike. <laughs> Obviously with Fortnite not releasing Creative 2.0 yet as well, they do have big plans for this year, believe it or not, as the CEO and founder of Epic Games, Tim Sweeney, actually tweeted out, coming to iOS this year, or next year, the end of last year, if that makes sense, basically for 2023. And then randomly, one of Apple's accounts, as you can see on screen right now, tweeted out, it's coming to iOS this year, and it's obviously showing Fortnite, even though it's the Chapter 3 Island, or on iOS devices, whether that's like an iPad or iPhone. Fortnite has literally not been on the App Store or iOS updated since Chapter 2 Season 3. That means they're literally more than a whole chapter behind, that's so depressing. It's this island, by the way, this one right here, this, the last stage of the flood dying down in Chapter 2 Season 3. And hopefully with the return of that, we do get some free V-Bucks, like the V-Bucks were set to be still granted that they didn't hotfix in with the Guardian Shield being the ones for the Mr. Beast wrapped and revved glider. If you did buy it priced higher than intended as stated in the tweet initially by Fortnite, you are still owed V-Bucks, and no, these aren't the V-Bucks that you get for obviously completing these reboot rally quests. Huh? Let me have a look right here. We have literally five days, 21 hours left at the time of me recording. Obviously less when you guys are watching, but as you can see, I don't have the Snick Snicked emotes. However, upon logging on, as soon as the reboot rally quest went live, I did get... 500 V-Bucks, I believe it was, and we get 400. Looking like this with a short disclaimer for the Mr. Beast wrapped and revved glider, but obviously that hasn't been granted yet. This is just an early reward screen concept. Argent Winter's down. These SpongeBob looking things are gonna give us our final bit of health. We've leveled up toward our mid-season rewards. Furthermore, come here. Thank you for playing. As for the 15th present though, moving swiftly on, as I'm sure a lot of you guys will want to know what reward it is, we're gonna be granted from taking a look in the game's files. Of course, there's so much unreleased here that you can obviously pause the video to check out individually on screen with all the names below them. As we got the Crescent Shroom pickaxe last year, although this did reveal that Madcap would be coming to the item shop being a skin in the files for literally a year or two at that point, it will not show up in a present reward screen form. It'll simply be like, as you see in the Crescent Shroom was on screen right now, a normal reward screen after Winterfest ended because believe it or not, this was obviously granted once Winterfest was ending or either ended last year. The final circle people are all scrapping over here. Honestly, I believe Epic Games always another free skin despite us being able to get you know, Arctic Adeline, Sled Ready Guff, and even the Gringle Guff skins from the item shop, or even in the presents, which again are no longer available, I know, it's depressing. Hopefully you opened all the presents and got all the pizza slices, by the way. And I believe this is our last guy. Boom, victory royale. Drop a like in the video if you're excited for the 15th present and want it to be anything of what I've showed on screen right now out of the game's coding, and subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on so that you don't miss any future uploads. But speaking of your next destination now, make sure to click this video on screen, but most importantly, hopefully I can catch you in the very next video I do publish on the channel.